This is question 43 from the GATE 2022 EC paper where we are given the following synchronous sequential circuit and are asked to find out which one of the options is correct. Underneath the question you will find the title of the NPTEL course or video relevant to this topic. So you have a clock with frequency F0 being fed to a binary counter and JK flip flop. So, what will happen? Let us look at the clock waveform. So, let's say that this is the clock waveform and that these are positive edge triggered flip flops and counters. Right? It doesn't matter, it will also work if you use negative edge trigger. Uh, so, now we have the 2-bit counter, right? So the 2-bit counter has the following output. So when there is no activation of the clock. We'll say that it starts at an initial state of 0, 0. And what does it do? It will count the clock edges up to mod 4, right? That is when the first clock pulse happens, it is going to be 0, 1. When the second clock pulse happens, it is going to be 1, 0 and 1, 1. And of course, it will go 0, 0 and so on. So this is going to be the functionality of the 2-bit binary counter. Notice that the period of the LSB is now 2 clock pulses, right? That is, there is a frequency division divided by 2 happening at the LSB of the binary counter. So let's count our clock edges. This is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So at 1, you are going to have the LSB go high and at 2, the LSB will go low again. So from here you can clearly see that the LSB has a period of 2 clock cycles. Right? But remember that whenever the LSB is high, J and K will be high. And for a JK flip flop, whenever J equal to K equal to 1 and the clock hits, the output Q will get complemented. Q will become Q bar. So let's see when that happens. At this clock edge, you should see just before the clock edge, the LSB is a zero. And so let's say Q was a zero, it will continue to stay a zero. Remember the LSB is J and K, right? But at this clock edge, it is when the, the value when the clock has a pause edge is one. So that means Q will have a flip, right? Again, the value at the just before the clock edge is zero. Again, for this clock edge, the value just before the clock edge is zero. And so it continues. And for this clock edge, the value just before the clock edge is one. And so it will have a dip. Finally, this pattern will go on. So this will be the final clock waveform. You can see that the period from here to here corresponds to 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is a time period of Q is 4 times time period of clock. That is the frequency of Q is going to be 1 by 4th of F0, which is the clock frequency. Thus, the answer is A.